from everything we saw tonight. I know it you know, waned a little bit in the second half, but overall. No, I, I thought overall it was great. Uh, I, I felt uh, that unit came in the game in that first quarter uh, and really ignited us. You know, we closed the first quarter on a 9-0 run. That carried over into the second, um, and we kind of built the lead with that group. You know, I thought Bones, Jermichael, uh, Zeke, Bryn, uh, D. Reed, and I kind of had Will in there with those guys as well. Uh, that group was fantastic on both ends. We did not defend at all to start the game, just like in that last game against Brooklyn, but that second unit brought that defensive energy, and we got out and ran. We had 17 fast break points in the first half. Um, and then to the starters' credit, when they came back in in the second quarter, they continued to play at the level that the bench had, had, had kind of brought us to. Uh, and then the third quarter was, you know, not great defense. Fourth quarter, much better defense. So I thought, yeah, I mean, the bench was great. Bones 22-6, and six, Jermichael 20-4 and four with two steals. Um, just uh, Zeke Najee at 11-7. and seven. Just a lot of good productivity and energy from those guys. Oh, really valuable. You know, uh, he didn't play last game. His, his knee was bothering him. You know, um, and obviously when you have DeMarcus available, it's tough to play all those bigs. Um, but having a guy like Jermichael Green, who's a pro, who's a man, uh, who's a veteran, and who just brings toughness and physicality every single night, um, and he's kind of, you know, like the, 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 the head of that second unit in terms of that defensive front line protecting the basket, uh, that, that's terrific, and, and I think that's what I love about whether it's he or DeMarcus, those guys are going out there and playing the right way. They're bringing an edge, they're bringing a physicality, and a, and a work ethic, uh, and that's what that unit needs to be. We're just talking about... Who's uh, we? Just me. Okay. <laughs> and the other night, Yeah, it's, um, you know, Katie, with a young player, there's going to be highs and lows. Those are expected, and we welcome it. You know, that's part of the maturation and development. Um, you know, but for Bones to go out there, not just get the 22, but what I love about him, uh, he had six rebounds, and some of those rebounds are in traffic. He's not afraid to mix it up. You know, he, when you look at him, you see this uh, little skinny kid, and I think him and Emmanuel quickly are like twins. I said to Bones last night, so I, was, so I was watching that Utah game, and I thought oh, you were out there. And he started laughing. He goes, me too, coach. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I love about the kid, his personality. He's a joy to be around, um, and he is getting better. These opportunities are just, you know, I hate to see a guy like Faku not playing. You know, this, these are not easy decisions, um, but uh, th these opportunities are allowing Bones to uh, just kind of grow up in front of our eyes, which is tremendous. And... Hopefully now the challenge for a young player is to string good games together. You know, that consistency that we all always strive for. Uh, so four more games going into the break. Hopefully not only Bone, but the rest of us can find a way to go on this road and continue to play at a high level. The chemistry that Aaron has had with uh, Joe for this season, uh, not even just tonight, but really the last you know, few months and really this entire season, how, how, much, how much of a luxury Yeah, and the funny thing is for me, Harrison, like even if you go back to the 25 games that, Harry, uh, that Aaron played for us after the All-Star uh, trade deadline, rather, uh, they almost found instant, like, chemistry, you know, and, and I think Aaron deserves a ton of credit because he came in here and was like, okay, he's the guy, and I'm going to play off of him. He, he didn't come in here to try to be a guy with Nicola, and I think from those 25 games last season into the playoffs, into now 53, 54 games, it just c continues to grow and get better to your point. Um, you know, Aaron obviously can impact the game in so many ways like Nicola can, scoring, rebounding, playmaking. Um, and we asked you know, Aaron to do so much, you know, 19 and eight tonight, four assists, one block. Um, you know, he's a hell of a talent and thank goodness he's back. You know, we're just a much better team with Aaron Gordon healthy. Who is this? I'm sorry. Zeke. Zeke. Yeah. In terms of his confidence around the basket. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I, I think uh, what was an area that maybe he, he kind of struggled in, you know, in terms of finishing around the basket. I think you've seen 
just um, great progress in that front. Uh, and I just love the he was attacking the glass. I mean, seven boards, four offensive. Um, he had more really good examples of switching on to smalls and guarding and containing. Um, and, and then for him to, to your point, um, not just he's not a specialist. He's not just a guy that can shoot 50 plus from three. He can also work around the basket and finish and get you second and third possessions on that glass. And those, those possessions and shots uh, are valuable. We are rebounded them by 11. When we are rebound teams, you know, our record is off the charts and, and, and Zeke had a big uh, impact in that category tonight. Nineteen sixty six. Wow, is that Red Holzman's teams? I'm curious, being from New York, growing up around the entire like that's a cool thing for you. No, you know what's cool is beating the Knicks. You know, that that that's you know, uh my mother texts me, you know, you know, before the Brooklyn game, before the night, you know, hey, you gotta be I gotta have bragging rights around here, take care of business. And so I guess we got the New York City sweep this year, which is, you know, whatever. But um the funny thing, Katie, is regarding the eighty three. We met as a staff, went into the locker room, showed some clips at halftime, all the things that we were doing well, the areas that we have to clean up. Then I went back to the locker room and I looked at the stat sheet and I said, we have 83 points? I didn't even realize it. I mean, I knew that we put up a lot of points, but I think that's two games in a row where we put up 70 something and now 80. And um, I love when we have 30 or more assists. I love when we have rebound our opponent uh, and everybody's getting in on the act. You know, So this was the starters, this was the bench, this was everybody. So. Uh, uh, truly a team win. Proud of our guys. Thanks, everybody.